Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 19, Problem Set. Let's take a look at number 1. When it says one end point of a line segment is negative 3, negative 6, the length of the line segment is 7 units. Find four points that could serve as the other end point of the given line segment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide down. Um, I have a coordinate plane here in front of me, uh, and I'm going to kind of model this for you to show... Uh, how you might go about doing this. So the first thing I want to do is plot uh, my point, and that's negative 3, negative 6. So there it is right there. That's my main point that I'm going to be going off of. Now, it says the line segment is 7 units. So there's, and I'm looking for four different points. I'm going to look horizontally and vertically for these. Um, so... I know I gotta go seven different units. So the first one I'm gonna start with, and I'm gonna go vertical. I'm gonna go up seven. So if I start at my point of negative three, negative six, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's one potential point. That's negative three, comma, one. And we see that with negative 6 to positive 1, it's 7 jumps. So another way I could go, and I'm not going to actually do this because I don't have enough room here, is I could start at my point of negative 3, negative 6, and go down um, another 7. And when I go down 7, it's really a negative 7. So I just keep counting on to go down. So that's, uh, I gave you one point, showed you the second one. A third way, a third point could be I could go to the right. And I'll do this one in red, and I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's a potential point. And that one is four, negative six. Another way I could go is by counting seven this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's another potential point. Um, there are others out there, but I at least showed you uh, three definite points and one that you can kind of figure out going uh, further down from your point. But you always want to start at that negative 3, negative 6. Um, so that's question one. What I'm going to do now is jump to uh, question two just to get started. Uh, so I have two of the vertices of a rectangle are 1, negative 6, and negative 8, negative 6. If the rectangle has a perimeter, meaning the distance around the outside, of 26 units, what are the coordinates of the other two vertices? So I'm going to start first by plotting this on here. And again, I'm going to use a coordinate plane. So here is my first point. And then my next one is negative 8, negative 6. So I know that the rectangle uh, opposite sides are going to be equal to each other. Um, so I first want to find out this distance right here. And there's two ways to do it. I see that uh, the negative 6 and the negative 6 uh, are the same. So I have 1 and a negative 8. And when they're different signs, I add the absolute values. So this distance is 9 units for my perimeter. If I couldn't figure that out, I can just count the jumps um, from this point to this other point over here. So I know I have 9, and I know that they're equal. This side, this bottom side, is going to be equal to the top side of that rectangle. So in terms of perimeter, I already have 18. I know my perimeter needs to be 26. And I'm going to subtract those to figure out what's left. So I have 8 left. But remember, I have 8 for two different sides. Two sides. So they have to be equal. So I'm just going to divide this by 2 or take half of this or break it into two equal parts. So each of those two sides is going to be 4. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. I counted 4 up from this point. And 1, 2, 3, 4 up from that point, and I'll make those 
uh, black because those are the other two vertices. So now I know I have 9 on the bottom, and it should equal 9 going across the top because they're the same distance. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4 going down, and 4 going down. So 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 plus 4 is 22, and 22 plus 4 is 26. So that's a 26 parameter, 26 units. Um, but it states, uh, what are the coordinates of the other two vertices? So I'm looking specifically at these. Uh, I'll change them now to blue, these blue dots. And the only reason why I'm changing them to blue is so I know I'm looking at those and I don't get the lines mixed up. So my first vertice is negative 8, negative 2, because I always go across the x first, and then I use the y for my second. And then my next one I start at the origin again, and I jump positive 1, and then negative 2. So those are my two vertices. Um, so that's how I would show it. Uh, number three, uh, now you're looking at uh, a vertex, and they're talking about its opposite, and they're giving you two different ones to look at. So they have the perimeter and the area. So now we're looking at the distance around the outside, but also the area, which is, uh, in this case for the coordinate plane, the number of squares on the inside, but it's really the, the space um, on the inside of a two-dimensional shape. Uh, in square units or units squared. Uh, hope this helps and good luck on your problem set.